Fanaticals. Thank you for watching today, Aaron at the Fly Desk. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a Blueing Olive Mayfly Emerger fly. Sounds complicated, but trust me, it is not. Um, this is a fly that I've used a lot in the western rivers here, um, especially when there's a hatch going on. If I'm not dry fly fishing, one of my favorite ways to fish is just under the surface um, with a long leader in it with an emerger pattern. Every fish that you see sipping flies on top of the water is probably sipping a lot more just under the surface and so that's why I like using emerger flies. So this fly I'm going to be using an olive thread. And I'm going to come across the top, cut it off, and then there's a product from Yellowstone Fly Goods called Micro Fibbits. See it right here. And what they are is they're it almost looks like the end of a paintbrush. And I've actually when I ran out of micro fibbits, I've actually used a paintbrush to get my little micro fibbits off of. So you can see they're just a little small uh, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's not a feather. It's like a synthetic tail tail material. That sounds better. Now on any type of uh, mayfly pattern, I'll usually put a lot longer tail than I normally do. So we're going to start there. but just to the front, silly myself, plenty of room. And so you can see a little tail fiber sticking out right there. The next thing I'm going to use is a product called Midge Rib. Um, it's this little plastic tubing stuff. Uh, there's another product called Larva Lace, works just the same. And I'm gonna tie it on the side of the hook for tapering purposes. I'm gonna go all the way back to where my tail starts. Then I'm going to carefully wrap every single bit over so there's absolutely no hooks showing through. I love this product because it makes the fly look very natural. Now, when tying it back over, what you want to do is you want to pull it very, very tight and almost stretch it as you wrap it. And you can see it gives it a really cool, natural look. Okay, so now we have our body. So what I will do at this point is I will whip finish. And then what I like to do is get a darker shade of thread so you can either go a darker olive thread or in this case I'm just going to do a brown a brown thread to put on the top and that will signify the the head slash thorax of the fly Three or four wraps of the whip finish. Cut it. There's our tail. And now what we will do is we will get our trusty UV glue out. And we're going to put an emerger wing on it. So the secret to this is to be quick on the draw with your light. So as soon as I got that little bubble on there, I'm gonna hit it with that light.
and you can see it gives us a nice little emerger wing coming off back in the old days I used to tie this with a ziplock bag I would cut a little top off the ziplock bag and stick it in there but with the advancement advancing technology of UV glue you can now get a really good realistic uh, emerger wing coming off your flies and the other thing it does is it cements your thread right there so she is not coming apart so that my friends is a simple emerger fly and you can do it in a bunch of different colors and it imitates a, a, a mayfly emerger very very well so thank you for watching Aaron at the fly desk on the fanaticals channel hope to see you on the water someday